The Mid-America Gospel Music Association Lifetime Achievement Award is presented each year to the person or persons who have influenced the growth and promotion of Southern, country, and bluegrass gospel music. This award is designed to honor those who have dedicated a significant portion of their life to the field of gospel music, either as a singer, musician, songwriter, radio personality, or promoter. The general membership of MAGMA submits nominations of those within the industry who have been influential in their careers, and they are later voted on by the board of directors. We seek to honor both the local artist who has influenced and mentored the new generation of performers, as well as those from our region whose music has impacted the national gospel music industry. It is our pleasure to be able to honor those pioneers who have and still are representing the ministry of gospel music. in God. Our first Mid-America Gospel Music Association Lifetime Achievement Award for 2009 is presented to one of the Midwest classic tenor voices. He has spent over 50 years thrilling audiences with his crystal clear tones and infectious smile. It is a great honor to present this award to a fine gentleman, Glendale Twidwell. G. Glendale Bouge Twidwell has spent his life singing gospel music. He began singing at an early age, learning to read shape notes and singing harmony before he reached first grade. His parents, Glenn and Dolly, were major influences on his music career, both as mentors and encouraging him, helping him to develop self-confidence. At age six, Glendale was already performing with his parents, Glenn and Dolly, brother Forrest, and sister Daphne. They were known as the Twidwell family and were familiar faces at area churches, the Wayne County Singing Convention, and community gatherings. In the late 1950s, Glendale, along with his brother Forrest, would form the Ozark Harmony Boys, along with longtime friend Oresta Atnip. For many years, the Ozark Harmony Boys were among the most popular groups in the Midwest. In 1969, Forrest would become suddenly ill and pass away. This would affect Glendale in a major way, and he would take some time off to adjust to the passing of his brother, singing only limited engagements. During this time, Glendale's daughter Janie would develop a gift of music following in her dad's footsteps. She would join Glendale and former Ozark Harmony boy Oresta Atnip and talented pianist Jeanette Turnbow to form the Twidwells. This group would sing together for several years until Janie would leave the Piedmont area, moving to St. Louis. Glendale has shared the stage with a veritable who's who of gospel music, including the Blackwood Brothers, the Statesman Quartet, the Happy Goodman Family, the Oak Ridge Boys, the Chuck Wagon Gang, and the Stamps Quartet. One of his most fun moments was being included in a jam session with former Missouri Governor and U.S. Attorney General John Ashcroft at the Governor's Mansion in Jefferson City, Missouri. He also remembers singing at a wedding for one of Janie's friends, a circuit judge, and looking into an audience filled with Supreme Court judges and members of the Missouri House and Senate and thinking, this is a long way from home for a Wayne County boy. Lindell is still active, making occasional personal appearances, and has been the music director at Tabernacle Baptist Church for 47 years. 
Although Glendale's musical accomplishments have been impressive, he has always remained grounded in his roots, his God, family, friends, and community. Please join our Magma family as we welcome our latest Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Glendale Twidwell. I trust in God. Go, 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 go